Hey salutations internet, this is Sean from SlowReactionTime.com and today I'm going to be playing through the Sega Genesis game Barkley. Shut up and JAM! Uh, as you can see from this little demo, it looks a lot like NBA Jam. That's because it is a lot like NBA Jam. I'm just going to play one game right here and just kind of give you the basics and the rundown of what's going on here. Uh, first off, you pick a team, you pick your captain, and I mean, you can go through all these guys, but why wouldn't you pick Sir Charles? He has the best stats in the game. So then the AI picks somebody, their captain, and they each hail from a different uh, a different region, like Chicago, Watts, Oakland, Miami, Houston, Phoenix. Barkley played for Phoenix at the time this game came out, so he is, of course, um, kind of just given to <laughs> given. I don't know, assigned to Phoenix. And I think I'm going to go through these guys and pick Gunner, and the AI picks Stonewall. You get this awesome portrait screen. Sir Charles, of course. Gunner with the white boy high top fade. Sweet Pea looking like a... I don't know, the Joker or some shit. And now you pick your city that you want to play in. So Charles Barkley being from the south, I'm going to pick Houston. Well, that seems like he played for Houston too at one point, so... I think before Phoenix and jump ball. So this is <laughs> this is essentially um, on the Genesis controller or the Mega Drive for you non-North Americans. Uh, it, it's played on three the three buttons, not the six button controller, but the three button controller. A shoots uh, on defense it blocks. Uh, B on defense steals or on offense passes. And C is turbo, regardless of if you're on offense or defense. And when you use turbo, across the top of the screen, you see these. there's these little red dots. I think they're supposed to be basketballs. I'm not really sure. Um, they, Those are your turbo, how many turbos you have. So every time you use a turbo, that little strike goes through it. And, and I think that you're using the turbo that entire time. Because I've seen where I've taken my finger off the button. It's still running really fast. Um, it's rubber banded as far as I can tell. It goes back and forth, so whoever's, you know, in the lead kind of has the disadvantage because, you know, it's easier for the person behind to catch up. And as I mentioned earlier, this looks a lot like NBA Jam. That's, I think it's not very coincidental that NBA Jam came out in 1993. Uh, Barkley Shut Up and Jam came out in 1994. Uh, about a year after, and it, and it looks like they could have really, I mean, it's a bald black basketball player. They probably could have been Jordan if they wanted it to be Jordan, if Jordan needed to, wanted to sell a basketball game, but he had enough stuff going on, so uh, they probably gave it to Barkley and edited the sprite a little bit, and hey, all of a sudden, it's Barkley. Shut up. Jam! So, yeah, that's it. I, I mean, a major thing, I've never got three baskets in a row, so I can't tell you if you can go actually go on fire or not. But, um, Barkley can do, or all the players actually can do, haha, <laughs> goaltending, you suck. Barkley can do, and it was for a three-pointer too, Barkley can do, they, they do the super dunks where they actually fly like above the rim and do something. Barkley's got his signature, like, two-handed jam, I believe. Um, other guys do other things, like there's a guy, a character, Wild Man, who has long hair, he does like a flip in the air. Uh, but one thing you can't do on NBA Jam, you can make the AI player on your your teammate pass the ball back and forth. But what you can't do is, in this game, you can't make them shoot the ball. So you would think, oh, cool, I'm going to pass to the guy who's going to be right under the basket, shoot the ball. Well, you your character just ends up jumping instead. And something has to be said. I mean, this music is it's absolutely awesome, isn't it? Boom, 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 boom. I mean, who could sit here if you played through an entire like series of games? Who wouldn't just go insane listening to the same beat over and over? Halftime stats: Barkley 15 points, Gunner 12 points. They're doing almost better than the entire other team. But and I think I'm up by like four. But. I have a big issue. Oh, up by four. I have a big issue with passing the ball back and that happening. Just tossing it away or tossing it right to the other team. Passing didn't work out too well for me.
Oh, I'm Panther on the way. Bakri is gonna just just this play is just terrible. It's terrible. That was my awful uh, Charles Barkley impersonation. I won't be winning any awards. He's gonna shut up and jam. And I, I really, I mean, I don't know. It's it's a Genesis game, so you know it. That that doesn't mean this is always the case, but in this game, the controls are really tight. I mean, I don't know Charles Barkley personally, but I, I just have this feeling that if I could actually JAM! Could control Charles Barkley in some way and, and use a Genesis controller to control him, he would control this good. I mean, it's really snappy. There's, It's arcade. It's arcade controls. There's no momentum that players don't like. You don't have to slow down. If you let go of the controls, he, they stop. There's no, like, momentum carrying them forward. There's no fouls. There's no charging. There's no blocking fouls. You can bash dudes over and over again. And there's no refs. I mean, do you see a ref in this warehouse where they're playing, where there just happens to be a full-court uh, basketball court as opposed to a full-court, uh, you know, croquet court? But, um, yeah, so the controls are spot on. You can't get too much better, but I mean, as long as it reacts when you want it to react, those are good controls for these old school games, right? Barkley putting up a bunch of threes. He's got to keep the lead up on um, Brooklyn. And I, I, I gotta men I, I, I can't go without mentioning this music again. I've heard better music in pornos. I mean, if I had, like I said, if I had to listen to this, I would just, for a whole series of games, like I'm playing, I want to go to the championship and win the Barkley Cup, I would have to take a Q-tip and bang it in my ear with a hammer, just to make this stop. I might even hear this music in my nightmares. Can't say dreams. They'd be very bad dreams. Shut up and jam! So, yeah, I mean... Hopefully I can. This is a this is a, a nail biter. I can't pick up the ball. I don't know why. Just kicked it around a little bit. Hopefully I I got a one point lead. I got five seconds. I'm gonna, he's gonna shut up and jam. And he didn't even get the jam because his head fell off. So that's Sir Charles Barkley's uh, shut up and jam for the Genesis or the Mega Drive. Um, this has been Sean from SlowReactionTime.com. As always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, tell me how much I suck, whatever. Anything works. So, thanks for watching. See ya.